overseas. I think a good uh, I think a good example of keeping capital in the local economy would be a project which I'm just about to start. Uh, well, I have started, and that is that I'm going to a local school. Uh, this is a, a local high school. It's got uh, about 750 students, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give uh, a CD with open source software including OpenOffice, Mozilla, the GIMP, it's called the Open CD. I'm going to give that to every single pupil in that school. And what I'm going to do, the reason that I'm going to do that, is uh, to raise awareness of open source software. But also, if all the kids in that school have got the same software, then that's fair. They've also got the choice to go out and buy uh, other software if they want, but they've got access to Open Office, and Open Office would allow them to write reports and learn about spreadsheets and learn about presentations if that's what they're interested in. But they've got the choice. Uh, now, if I was going to do the equivalent with the student version of Microsoft Office, which doesn't include things like, uh, say, GIMP, which is the graphic image manipulation program, uh, then each copy of that would cost about a hundred pounds. So, uh, effectively, by me giving seven hundred and fifty CDs to the pupils, uh, then if I was going to do the equivalent with Microsoft products, then that would be seventy-five thousand pounds, and. <clears throat> that £75,000 that would be paid by the parents of the pupils, and they don't need to spend that. So £100 per student, let's say, uh, you know, they could buy some books, something, which, uh, or, or lots of other things. There's lots of benefits of doing that. Um, and if it was buying a Microsoft product, then there's actually very little representation of the Microsoft company in Scotland. Uh, the, the actual amount of uh, uh, money that's generated by uh, Microsoft for Scotland is, is tiny because there's, there's really not that many people that work here for, for them. So that's 75,000 for one school. 75,000 pounds uh, basically going straight out of Scotland. And there are 66 schools in Edinburgh. And they'll be next. 